Hi guys, just doing a quick video review on the Luxbell knife sharpener. First of all, a big thank you to Simple Tech for kindly providing me with a uh, sample. As always, I've got no affiliation to the company. So I've literally received uh, this knife sharpener and I thought the best way to show you whether it's any good or not is to sharpen some knives um, on camera. I haven't sharpened anything yet, so I'll find out whether this is any good um, at the same time as you guys. So, first of all, I'll talk you through the product really quickly. So, in the box, what you get is the instructions as well as the knife sharpener. And I've got the knife sharpener already here. So, <coughs> this is a three um, three mode knife sharpener. So, it's got a section in here for uh, ceramic. It's got a uh, so that's for ceramic knives. It's got a section in here for um, really blunt knives, so it's got a tungsten blade in here designed for tungsten knives as well as super blunt knives. And then finally you've got a final section in here for uh, blades which just need honing, so for regular use. And the way you use it is you place it down on a flat surface, you put the knife in at a 90 degree angle and you pull that knife towards you. So really simple. So for my test, I've got a couple of bits of paper and a tomato and we'll sharpen up some knives and then we'll see how we get on with those. So I'll show you what knives are we using. So first of all I've got a generic non-branded knife that's been in the shed and my dad uses for chopping random bits of stuff up uh, and it is super super blunt and so what I'll do is I'll show you. So if I try and cut a bit of paper you can see even if I use a sawing action it doesn't really do much so it's it's really blunt <coughs> so what I will do is I will put it in the coarsest section first and then I'll put it in the ceramic um, in the fine section to hone it off and then we'll see what happens so you put it in at 90 degrees apply a bit of light pressure and move that knife towards you so we'll do it a few times and then hopefully the knife should be a bit sharper Ten. So I've done that and what it has done, hopefully you can see on camera, is it's, so just there, it's filed away a very very small amount of this blade. So essentially what it's doing is it's taking off a very very small amount and it's cutting a new point on this blade. Um, eventually over time the disadvantage of that is that um, the blade will thin. Um, whereas when you're using a whetstone, uh, you take a much finer um, amount of the blade off, so the knife stays um, in use for longer. Now, this is a generic knife. We don't really use it at home at all. My dad just uses it in the shed, so we're not too bothered about it. So put it in the coarse section, and we'll see whether it does anything. And you can see it doesn't. So try it again in the knife sharpener. So we'll do it a few more times. And that's again taken more material off this knife. Uh, looking at the knife, I can see it's got a much, much um, shinier section to it, which would indicate that it has taken a significant amount off. Now, if I now go to cut the piece of paper, you can see I can cut it fairly easily. Try again. So, again, you can see it cuts relatively easily. So if I now put it in the fine section, just to hone it off, um, we'll see whether that makes a difference. So again, it does feel a little bit uh, more sharper, so we'll give it another go. So if I 
hold it, there we go, so you can see that does a much better job. I've got a new bit of paper here, I'll try it on this as well. So again, you can see it is much sharper than it was before. I suppose the final test is tomato test. I've got a chopping board and it cuts through that much, much better. So that's the first knife. Um, that's a really, really blunt knife and it took a couple of passes, as you saw, to try and get it as sharp as possible. Um, I'll give it a go on this knife. So this is a knife that we use at home for um, chopping vegetables and stuff. Again, we'll do a test just to see how sharp it is. And you can see this is a little bit sharper. It's not as sharp. You can see cut through and then it started to tear. Whereas the other bit, um, the other bit that I cut earlier, it cut straight through with the sharpened knife. So I think what I'll do for this knife is I'll test it in the fine section first. We'll see whether that works. Um, if it doesn't, I might go back for a second pass on the coarse section. So do five passes. Give it a go. Uh, if I hold the paper, you can see it's not made much difference. Still, it's cutting, but it is struggling to cut. When it does get the cut in, it goes, it does go through a little bit better. But I think what might help is if, yeah, if I pass, do a pass through on the core section. So I've just cut, tried to cut the tomato and it is struggling to cut through the skin as you can see there so let's put it through the core section and then we'll give it another go okay so give it another go and that is much much better so we'll try once more Okay, so let's do the tomato test as well. So before it was struggling to get through the skin, um, it is getting through it a bit better, still not as good as the other one. So I'm gonna pass it through the core section one more time. Okay, so give that a go now. And that is definitely much, much better probably say it's on the same level as the other knife. So if I do the tomato test for you guys. Yeah, that's really nice and sharp. Um, so to the ratings guys, I think as you've seen there, it's taken two, well, one very blunt knife and one relatively blunt knife. And it's given, given them a really nice edge on them. And it's brought them back to life. Um, obviously the disadvantage with it is the fact that it takes a very small shaving off the knife will mean over time you are wearing away the edge on that knife. Um, if you've got expensive chef's knives, that may be a global type knife or something like that, uh, it might this might not be the right product for you, but if you've got relatively inexpensive knives and you wanna get a really sharp edge on them really quickly without having to master how to use a whetstone or something like that, then this is gonna do the job just fine. So to the ratings, I'm going to give it a five out of five. Um, as you saw there, it did the job perfectly and at $7.99, you can't really go wrong. So that's the end of my review, guys. Thanks for watching.